Welcome to CAS Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 8.3. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So given this source-free RLC circuit, we are also given the values of each of the components. So R is 10 ohms, and L, which is the inductor, is 5 Henry's, and C, which is the capacitor, is 2 millifarads. So you also find alpha, which is the damping factor, we have to find omega O, which is our resonant frequency, or our undamped frequency, and we also find S1 and S2, which are the roots of the characteristic equation. And we also ask to find the type of response which this leads to. So let's start. We're going to start with the alpha, and for a series RLC circuit, alpha, is equals to r divided by 2l. Now substituting the values, we're going to have 10 divided by 2 to by that. And therefore, our damping factor is 1 nepers per second, which is the unit for that. And we're going to proceed to find this, which is omega o, our resonant frequency in radians per second, and it's going to be 1 divided by the square root of LC. So substituting the values, L is 5 and C is 2 millifarads. So substituting the values in here should give you a resonant frequency of 10 radians per second. And from this, we can find the roots, so S1 and S2. So the first thing you notice is that the damping factor, or alpha, is less than this resonant frequency. And this will lead us to a an undamped, or no, no, this is an underdamped. We have damping because this is present, it's not zero. If this were zero, it would be undamped, right? So there'd be no attenuation or no decrease as time goes on. So this is our undamped response because we have alpha less than omega O. And now that we have an undamped response, underdamped, sorry, underdamped response, what you want to do is to turn your calculator into complex form. So you can actually compute the roots. And the roots can be found from this formula, which says negative alpha plus or minus square root of alpha squared sub subtract omega O squared. So now that this is less this square root here, or this part, is going to be imaginary. And that is why, as it should turn your calculators, once you identify the response to be underdamped, you have to transform your calculator to complex form. And that will help you to find this point. And so the roots, S1 and S2, are minus 1 plus J9.95 and minus 1 negative J9.95, respectively. 